when he was in third grade, about the time that my ex-husband and I got divorced. I think that might have played a huge role in um, Connor's personality, how he handled things. He didn't like school. It was too easy for him. He didn't feel like he had any reason to be there. So that was challenging for him to have to go every day. Math was kind of hard for me then. I was like really bored with it. He started fourth grade. His teacher, Ms. Van Dynhoven, recognized right away that he caught on to math very quickly. He didn't really realize his full potential yet. She like took the time to go around the class and like ask if anybody needed help. They know exactly how you feel about a certain subject. So when you get up in front of kids and you're excited about it, every single lesson, they get excited about it. And when you talk to them about that it's okay to make mistakes, I think that makes them feel a little bit more comfortable. She kept like encouraging me to keep going and keep doing more and then I ended up being like really good at it and like I could do it faster than most of the kids. She would have him help her answer questions with the kids and go around and see if any of them needed extra help. It gave him a purpose, it made him feel important. I felt more confident with like how I could do my math. As the year went on, he started to find school a little bit more fun. Eventually I ended up being able to like help other kids in class, kind of like being a teacher. It was cool. We haven't had to see a lot of the trials and tribulations that he's been through. And so we're seeing him kind of emerging after that. Had those experiences maybe not happened when he was in elementary school, he might not be as mature and as progressed as he is, you know, when we see him at the seventh grade level. I didn't really know what I wanted to do until I went into academic and career planning. We had to choose a job based on what we were good at. Then we had to do more research to see like what the job was and then what it pays and what qualifications you need. This is our biggest project. They actually become whatever it is that they are interested in. They come in and they are that doctor, they are that graphic artist, and they dress the part, and they have to bring in something that they created at their job to show the students, and we have a career fair. I'm planning on being like a graphic artist because I, I like drawing and um, I like animations, and I have to like go to college. Connecting learning to life. Right. Really, that's what it's all about. It is. He does have that very creative side, but with that logical side to him as well, it's just that perfect combination that I think whatever he does, he is going to be very successful at it. He surprised me very much. Um, came through first quarter of seventh grade with straight A's. Clearly he enjoys the teachers, the classes, the environment that he's in. I'm pretty much ready for anything.